Hey guys, what I'd like to do today is show you a very interesting, very exciting all-in-one computing device by Lenovo that was just released in China. This is a follow-up to my last video where I was speaking about tablets and I was talking about my iPad Pro and I touched upon the fact that many people, including myself, are searching for that all-in-one device that does everything. Now, tablets are so versatile and so powerful today. They can do video editing, photo editing, games, work, productivity. They're incredibly versatile, incredibly useful, incredibly powerful, but you are restricted by that Android or iPad OS operating system, which is why many people take the laptop when they go on holiday or they maybe take their tablet and they can't do everything they want, or they might take both devices. And that's what ultimately what everyone is looking for. They're looking for something that can do all of this, a laptop and a tablet in one. And we've not seen that yet, but that is something that Lenovo are trying to change. So this is the video cards website. It's a news website. It's a fantastic website. I do recommend checking out and subscribing, etc. And you can see here that this is the Lenovo ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 Hybrid. It combines an Intel Core Ultra uh, 7 15H uh, Windows laptop with a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 Android tablet. So if you look at the picture here, you'll get an idea of what's going on. The display there is an Android tablet and it's a fully functional Lenovo uh, tablet, Android tablet, and you can use it like that. But the keyboard base is a Windows computer. Inside that keyboard is the computer. And when you connect that display to the keyboard base, you can choose to use Android or Windows or both at the same time on the same display. That's amazing. So we've seen some Android Windows dual boot devices in the past from some kind of cheapish Chinese tech companies. But they, if I remember right, they always ask you to you know, switch off Android and then reboot in Windows. That is not what's going on here. This is a true hybrid device. So you can see that this was uh, announced earlier in the year at CES 2024. And the pictures kind of show you what's going on. It just looks perfect. You've got the stylus there. You've got the cameras at the back. You've got the keyboard base. You can use it as an Android tablet. And it shows you here that um, if you think of a fully independent tablet that can easily be converted into a Windows device by plugging in a keyboard, users can run both systems simultaneously side by side on a single screen. So they do talk about the fact that there is a lack of integration as far as storage and different things. So that it's not the perfect device per se, but I really do love the fact that Lenovo are running with this concept. I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. I really do hope other companies follow suit. So I think this looks amazing. I really do think this is amazing. And if you look at the, the specs down at the bottom, this is a powerful setup. On the left-hand side here, the hybrid station or the keyboard base, that's the Windows computer. And at the right-hand side, the hybrid tab, that's the Android tablet. And the specs are really good. Intel Core Ultra 7 15 h Windows 11, 32 gigabytes of memory, one terabyte SSD. You obviously don't have a display or a camera in the base, but you've got speakers, fingerprint reader, your own battery. You've got uh, Thunderbolt 4 connections, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2, and you can see that it weighs 970 grams. And then when you add the tablet, you're talking about 1.7, 1.8 kilograms. But the Android tablet in its own right looks like a great little computer. 8 plus Gen 1 CPU, Android 13, 12 gigabytes of memory, 256 gigabytes of storage. Adrenal GPU, 14 inch display. This ticks so many boxes and you've got that front um, camera there as well and you've got a rear camera as well. So yeah, this, this is really impressive. That I'm, I'm, I'm really, really impressed by this. I'll leave a link to this news article so that you can check it out yourself. And I'll also leave a link to the Chinese website if you want. And the reason I'm linking to this is because this shows you that it's on for sale in China now. And you can see here that, that it costs 15999 Chinese yuan or yuan. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it works out at £1,763 or let me see that in dollars, $2,238. Now, I have no idea that if it, you know, it comes to the West, are we going to see that same price? Is it going to be more expensive? I don't know. I don't know if it's, it could be more expensive. Maybe we'll see a variation of this. I don't know. 
But do check it out. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, guys. I think this is an amazing concept. I love the idea of having an all-in-one device that can replace all of this. I'm happy to switch to Android for my tablet. I do think iPad OS is generally the better mobile operating system, but an all-in-one device would be absolutely amazing. I'm going to keep tabs on that, excuse the pun, uh, to see if it comes out in the UK. I think it'd be a really, really good uh, product to buy. It really does replace a lot of functionality and it means that you don't carry around two devices. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, guys. Please do leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. And until next time, take care.